So today we are looking at the FatDoc64 Linux. So the version of the latest uh, ISO file is uh, 903. So you can call it as a uh, FatDoc64 Linux 903. So here is the boot menu. So let me quickly boot it in a live boot. So FatDoc Linux is uh, based on independent. So it's a based uh, independent based Linux distro or uh, independent Linux distro. You can call it like that. And also the desktop environment you get is the open box and the country of origin of this uh, Linux distro is uh, United States. So this is the latest version which is uh, 903 and also the I am running it on the virtual machine which is uh, VMware and uh, it's going to take like a two or three minutes uh, for the booting process because usually all the Linux distro will take that much of time in my uh, virtual, mini uh, virtual machine or in the uh, laptop. So I have the hardware specs of uh, i5-1240p CPU and uh, 8GB of RAM and also the 60GB of uh, virtual disk for the VMware. So here is our desktop layout so it's uh, completely loaded. I'm going to show you the downloading process and all the available changes uh, throughout the video. So let's first open the system monitor or the task manager. So let me find that. Utility. So it should be somewhere here, not in the multimedia, internet, network. So these are all the applications which comes pre-installed. So on the graphics, programming, file system, utility. So I don't uh, find anything. So let me open the system monitor. We have the task manager here. So here you can see these are all the process running right now. I didn't even change the display settings because uh, I don't want to touch anything other than the task manager because I want to show exact hardware uh, resources consuming as soon as the Linux distro is booted. So it's uh, 337 MB and uh, CPU is under like a 10%. So it's pretty much lightweight Linux distro. So let's check about. So LX task 0.1.8. So I'm going to keep the task manager in the right side corner throughout the video so you can see all the changes. So let's first change the display settings. Desktop, I need to find the display settings here. I think uh, it should be in the control menu. Let's wait. So display, let's uh, click on display properties. So my monitor is 1920 into 1080. I'm going to click on apply. So let's check about. So here is the resolution or the about the screen information. Let me click on OK. So wallpaper is pretty much uh, messed up. So I'm going to change the wallpaper so it can fix uh, everything. So let's click on the system setups control panel I think I was uh, first went to the appearance let's check the wallpaper desktop wallpaper I think we need to click a uh, double time I'm going to click on double so still nothing so we have the wallpaper let's click on apply so as you can see it fixed uh, pretty much uh, properly so these are all the wallpapers available so I don't think there is nothing uh, updated in the wallpaper as you can see modified in the date so it's uh, 2014 the wallpaper is from 2023 and uh, there is no 2024 so I'm going to close this thing before that let's check about so here is this let's close it let's uh, click ok so here is the task manager so let's open the internet browser and I'm going to show you the downloading process so if you need a browser now the cmonkey browser suite is already included so if you want any browser other than the cmonkey you can install by clicking yes i'm going to open the default browser i don't want to install anything other than the default things so that's the reason i'm uh, i'm going to open the default things and i'm going to show how it performs on the default applications and default settings i don't want to modify or i don't want to change anything here so let's see what version we have here. So this is the latest ISO file which is 903. Let's check uh, the browser information about uh, CMonkey. So it's a 2.53.18.2. I don't know when it was released. So build identifier 2024. So it should be on this date. So I'm going to close this 
user extension i'm going to close it also so here is the fat doc 64 linux so it's an independent uh, linux distro so if you want any information you can just go to the official website so i'm going to go to the official website now let me type in like a fat doc 64 or else i'm just going to copy this thing so if you want any information you can just directly uh, read it from here let me paste it let's click on enter so search engine is uh, DuckDuckGo so here is the official website keep an eye on the CPU and RAM throughout the video the RAM went up to almost uh, 592 MB just for the browser so fat dog Linux is a small yet versatile 64-bit uh, multi-user Linux distribution originally created fatter so I'm not going to read everything here so it's an independent Linux as you can see here small fast and efficiency around uh, 600 MB so the ISO file is around 600 700 MB so if you want any other information you can just directly go and check here so if you want the minimum requirements or uh, how much of uh, uh, RAM and CPU you need to run this Linux distro you need to have minimum requirements of this much which is uh, AMD CPU AMD uh, x64 AMD CPU and 1 GB RAM and also most Intel and AMD CPU produced after 2008 support 64-bit including many Intel atoms so you can easily run this Linux distro even if you have like a 1 GB of RAM and about storage you can run I'm running it on the live boot so you can run it on the live boot but if you want to install you can install it on your own so you need at least like a, it's a 2024 you need to have a, like a, almost like a 50 GB or 60 GB like that for the hard disk so these are all the other information and uh, let's go to the downloads so click here for the info on the latest release click here to download the ISO file and uh, burn your own CD or here are the latest pre-release so I'm going to click on the first link let's see so this is the version I am using right now which is uh, 903 was released on 17th August 2024 and uh, based on LFS Linux from scratch so it's Linux from scratch you can uh, call it as LFS 11.3 and also there is nothing about the 903 version I think other than this thing which is uh, Linux from scratch 11.3 so there is no uh, so we have the changes from uh, fat dog uh, 904 but uh, you don't have any information about the 903 but as soon as I get any information I'm going to provide in, in the description I think I will be giving all the information in the description if you uh, want any information about the version 903 I'm going to provide that in thing in this uh, version but you can just compare it uh, from this one to this latest version by typing some commands and opening all the applications you should be getting all the changes right away but uh, if you want the release notes I'm going to provide it in the description so these are all the information you can directly download the ISO files from the here which is get the ISO for images from here let's click on the first link which I downloaded from there so you can see the version here so there are also pre or the pre-release or the older versions you can scroll it down and find the latest version so as you can see it's a fat dog 64903 ISO file you can just click on directly here so the ISO file is around 681 MB so it's a lightweight Linux distro so you can easily try it on your own so if you already are using you can try this Linux distro because most of the time the uh, fat dog Linux will be pretty much stable so and also the version which we are using right now is also stable version so you can save anywhere you want so always try it in the live boot first then go with the installation if you want so it should be running on most of the uh, low end uh, PCs so I think it should be running on every Linux distro because if you already have 1 GB of RAM it, it's, it's pretty much okay because as you can see uh, by running the browser and also the task manager I am having like a 631 MB and also I'm running it on the RAM so it's consuming 600 MB or 700 MB of RAM so I'm going to close the browser before that let's try the about support about support and I'm going to click on enter 
so here is the information so build id is uh, 2024 0704 so the linux kernel we have is uh, 6.10.2 which is a pretty much latest version or the stable version so the latest version of a linux kernel is 6.10.3 i guess let's uh, search it i don't want to give any wrong answers but i'm going to type in like a linux kernel in the search bar linux kernel let's uh, find the latest version so the release candidate right now is uh, 6.11 i guess as you can see 6.11 rc3 it's a release candidate but the stable version is 6.10.5 so uh, it was like a 10.4 like a two three days ago but here you can see it's uh, the latest version uh, is on the 08 14th 610.5 so you are getting the version uh, 6.10.2 which is uh, 0.3 updates uh, difference so it's latest version you don't need to worry about the kernel you get the latest version uh, which is stable version and the fire uh, c monkey browser version is here i'm pretty much confusing uh, similar like a firefox browser because it's a, a c monkey browser so i'm using a 8 gb of ram which i already mentioned in the beginning so disk space available is 3.8 gb so if you want any other information you can just directly get all the information just pausing the video right here so here is some of the important information for some of the viewers who need uh, who consider it as important you can pause the video but if you don't consider as important, you can just skip this part. So when you scroll it down, you should be seeing all the information. So this is all the information available right now. You can just pause the video and uh, read everything on your own. You can even install the other browsers, which is already uh, available in this Linux. So that's a good thing. So we got everything from the browser. So I'm going to close the browser. Close the browser. So I'm going to close the downloading also. So let's open the terminal. Let me type in INXI. Hit enter. Command not found. Neofetch. Also not found. Unim A. So here is the Linux kernel and my CPU. Unim R. So we already saw the Linux kernel. So I'm going to close it. So we need to see what are the changes here. Let's check custom look and uh, the LX appearance. You can choose whatever you want. I'm going to close it. So here you can also open the quick setup. So these are all the same things. Nothing changed in the uh, desktop. So here is the desktop system. So here are the applications. Here are the setups. Let's choose the control menu. So here are the available things appearance wallpaper theme color and all the font size you can customize display we already saw everything about the displays here is the sound customize your sound here is the network and here is the disk g parted and all those things you can install the uh, fatdoc64 if you want here is the system here are the available things third party software installer so you can install the thunderbird google chrome firefox virtualbox vlc everything so if you want installer you can click on the installer or else uh, i think there was installer here but i don't find anywhere so installation created by the installer installation created by the installer only boots on by so it went so where to install bootloader options installation source so you already know how to install i'm not going to install anything here i just want to run it everything on the live boot so here is the panels you can customize your panel if you want to add new panel you can add it if you want to configure you can configure if you want to click auto hide you can do that styling widgets or date and time volume the network connection close it here is the bluetooth here is the clipboard let's clear it okay here is the file manager downloads 
startup you need to just click on single click so there is no uh, password or anything for this uh, uh, Linux distro if you, if you want you can restart it so here is the games here is the multimedia some of the applications need to be installed for example the VLC I think VLC is pre-installed I guess so VLC is already pre-installed let's check the version so you get the 3.0.21 so when you don't when you don't have the release notes it will be a bit of problem so there is no release notes for the uh, 903 version but I'm going to show whatever uh, the possible I'm going to show everything here because we most of the time the Linux kernel will be changed I showed already the Linux kernel which is the latest version available and also there will be sometimes the application will be updated like uh, for example the browsers and the Thunderbird mail client or the VLC media player so these are the changes uh, minor changes will be available but uh, when you don't have the uh, release note there will be an issue so GIMP is also pretty much pre-installed so if you want the older version you can see that videos because I pretty much showed everything in this in those videos so here is the GIMP let's uh, click on single mode let's check the version so it's 2.8.22 so I want to do a stress test by opening a bunch of applications and see whether this distro will handle the day-to-day -day task or the day-to-day -day stresses like uh, some of the normal user will be opening like a uh, four or five application at once and uh, if we had if we had like a one GB of RAM and uh, how it's going to perform so right now I opened like a uh, four or five applications so the RAM went up to 595 MB and CPU is also under 10% so it's pretty much running almost uh, the default applications without any issues so I don't have any lag or anything and also you need to consider that, uh, that I'm using a 8 GB of RAM for my uh, VMware so even if you have like a 1 GB of RAM it's going to be running smoothly without any issues because it's a lightweight Linux distro in my opinion so if you want to try it you can try it on your own here are the customization you can customize according to your wish so these are all the same things nothing changed here so let's check what applications we get pre-installed here desktop system setup let's open the utility file system programming graphics document calculate which is like a library office calculator base and the usual calculators personal you can install the quick apps and also what we have is the network the network you get these things internet you get a lot of browsers but you need to install it uh, on your own multimedia let's open the avdmux so avdmux is also pre-installed so let's try to open a bunch of applications again no device ties spawned so most of these applications are pretty much added already so you don't need to open So here are all the applications, 216 items. So these are all the applications or the available things in the paddock 64 Linux 903 version. Let's check the task manager. Let's make it bigger. So these are all the process running right now as you can see. And also there is no minor uh, lag or any hiccups here and there. So everything is working smoothly without any issues. I'm not even feeling any of the issues here so as you can see no lag I can switch the applications without any problem so you can switch from back to front no lag I can switch any applications without issues so this Linux distro is good for the lightweight uh, uh, this Linux distro can be considered as a lightweight Linux distro and you can run it on the low end PC like even if you have like a 2 GB or 1 GB of RAM it's, go it's going to be running smoothly without issues so also you should be getting the latest version of the kernel which is 6.10 so that's also a good thing from this uh, fat dog Linux distro so if you ask me if you have a low end PC uh, it's going to perform well then I'm going to say answer it's going to perform well 
because it's still consuming 726 MB after opening a bunch of applications like a GIMP, AVDMAX and also some browser, calculator, the text editor. So I'm running almost uh, most of the usual uh, uh, user using uh, applications right now without any lag. I can even switch the applications. So if you want to try, you can try it on your own and uh, do let me know in the comment section how it performed if you already have the uh, low-end PC. But uh, it's clearly up to you uh, to judge uh, whether to use this Linux distro or not. In my point of view and in my final thoughts, I'm going to say it's it's working pretty much uh, without any lag. So uh, it's a positive uh, response for me. Or it's a positive response uh, for the Linux. So let's check the version. So let's check the task manager and see. So it's consuming 730 MB after opening all these applications. So I'm going to provide the release notes as soon as it's available or I'll find any sources to get all the information and I'm going to provide in the description. I'm going to get uh, the information. If the official website released uh, the version, I'm going to uh, provide that in the description. But uh, let's see. Uh, right now there is no release notes, but uh, we need to wait for a few hours I think there will be uh, release notes because the ISO file was released like a few hours ago maybe they should be providing the release notes so as soon as the ISO file uh, releases or the website releases the release notes I'm going to provide it in the description so let's close the applications and end the video so we need to always have the release notes because we don't know what will be the changes only if we, we need to compare the previous version and the latest version the linux kernel is almost the latest version so the linux kernel is changed and also we need to find other changes maybe the applications will be updated like uh, this one or the vlc media player uh, this type of applications so as soon as the release notes is available i'm going to provide it in the description so let's close it let's close the this one also and the text editor which is a leaf pad you get a 0.8.19 so already provided and uh, i already posted a video of uh, extx linux uh, which is the uh, latest version of a uh, deep in i already posted that video if you want to watch that video the, uh, the video is already available in my channel so you decide whether to use the extx linux or not i'm going to say whatever it's uh, in the video i already said everything in the video so you can watch those videos so here is a viewer. The browser already showed you the version. File manager. The package manager. Let's check the package manager. Let's try to grab it like this. Let's check the version 0.5.10. So the installed packages will be highlighted with the blue box. So these are all the installed packages, and the version will be on the left side and the description will be on the right side you can just pause the video and read everything or you can just uh, watch the video in a slow-mo by going to youtube settings and uh, change the playback speed to 0.25 and you should be seeing everything in a slow-mo so let me close this you get the calculator so you get a bunch of pre-installed applications which is uh, usually used for a normal user so it contains uh, almost everything so if you want to try it you can try it always try it in the live boot and then go with the installation if you're satisfied and also you can see the changes from the 902 uh, from 903 uh, by checking this video you can easily compare those videos or else you can just wait for the release notes i'm going to provide uh, somehow so here is the uh, hardware specs or the resources consuming at the end of the video after closing all the applications so it went up to 450 mb in the ram cpu is pretty much stable throughout the video it's uh, almost uh, under 10 percent so it's a good uh, linux distro in my opinion and you decide whether it's a good or not uh, according to your uh, using I think I'm going to end the video here because we pretty much covered the basic things uh, which a normal user wants here. So let's try to log out and see. You can suspend, you can reboot, you can shut down. 
So do you really want to power off? All application will be closed and unsaved changes will be lost. Please save all open documents before continuing. I'm not going to click on no. Yes, you are running in a RAM. At this moment, none of your data in this session is saved. If you want to save your data, you need to create a save file. Do you want to create a save file now? I'm going to click on no. You, cl you click can cancel during the save file creating process. You, If you cancel this process, none of your data in this session will be saved. Are you sure you want to stop this process and lose all your data session? I'm going to click on yes. So that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.